Welcome back to Snowbound. I am your host, Ember Snow. I got a lot of questions from you guys, my subscribers specifically. So I am going to be going through all of that with you guys. The topic for today is going to be personal relationships. Mine specifically. <laughs> we are getting really personal in this episode because the first question is, how many times have you been truly in love? I mean, can you guys guess? <laughs> uh, actually, just a few times. Um, I am quite loyal, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> it's just that when it comes to puppy love and lust, it's, it's so easy to confuse that to love, but never equate it into love. Love is something so much deeper than those two. And quite honestly, puppy love and um, lust are basically the same things. But love is love is something more. And uh, I must say, I've only shared that with just a few people. The follow-up question for this is... <clears throat> excuse me. Do you believe in long-term monogamous relationships or marriage? Would you like that in the future? I have been, I don't know how many of you guys know this, but I have shared this with, like, very close people. Um, I'm actually in a long-term relationship with a girl. Yes, so we have been dating for quite some time now. So, I mean, easy answer to this is yes, I do believe in it. If marriage happens, it happens in the future. Right now, we're just enjoying each other's company and learning a little bit more about each other every day next is how do you show someone that you love them okay this is this is going to be indescribable for me so <laughs> i can't really i can't really answer this question actually because the things that i do for my girlfriend is very specific and unique it's not something that I've ever done with another person that I had a long-term relationship. So I, I can't share. I don't know what to answer, but they, she knows. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she knows. And I make sure that she knows every day that I've never forgotten about her. And that's how I feel like that's how it should be in every relationship that you're very serious about is to make sure that the other person knows that you still have that fire for them next okay this is this is kind of more about you guys if i met you in public what's the best way to approach you okay um i'm kind of going to answer this in a general term because if it's not just me you encounter other it could be other you know performers or someone you're a fan of whether it's a Hollywood celebrity or somebody in this industry, um, just the main thing that I want to tell you guys is to respect their time, respect my time. Because when we're out in public, we could be doing something very personal already. It's, it's still part of our private time. Like, have you ever met your teacher outside of school? Like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> you kind of it's kind of awkward but at the same time it's kind of intriguing but see you know just kind of respect their time because they're doing something outside of school so for our cases if we're doing something outside of our job and i mean just keep that first in mind and then you can still say hi and just be and just maybe politely depending on the situation and just politely be like hi Ember, you know, I'm actually a fan of yours. I know you're busy, but just wanted to let you know. 
you know, something short and sweet. Um, we are always very um, appreciative. And, we, I mean, we love knowing that you guys exist. But, yeah, just be respectful of the time. I mean, I'm going to give you guys an example. There was this one time that a fan actually met me in a restaurant and he wanted to take a picture and i was just like i'm sorry it's not a really good time but then i was just like okay well i kind of want to show some appreciation so i he had his phone ready and we just took a picture really quick but the thing is when i did that the other fans who were in the area came out of the woodwork and was just like oh can i take a picture with you too like four other guys came up to me and i was just like i don't normally do this but oh my god i cannot have this happen again because i was with someone at the time too so it's kind of like i have to think about their time as well so it's not just mine but it's also whoever it is i was with so yeah time we love you we love you guys but you know just think about the time Next question, what is the best interaction you have had with a fan recently? Okay, this is in a different place. Um, this guy actually saw me walking around a store. And, I mean, he didn't say my name. He knew who I was. And he just greeted me very quickly and just wanted to say that he was a big fan of mine. And then he just bowed gracefully and went his way. So, I mean... If you want to, if you want me to acknowledge you, if you want to introduce yourself, fantastic. But I mean, that was like the least nerve wracking fan interaction out in public. So if you can do that, that'll be great. <laughs> Next question. Honestly, does a fan have a shot with you? If I was like 100% single, you know, then I would be open to all the possibilities but as of right now, I am happy where I am at. So right now, no. <laughs> I mean, just wanting to be honest with you all. But yeah, it doesn't mean that we can still be together somehow, some way. You're, you guys are probably never going to believe this in a million years. But I judge people by the way they treat me and other people. But. I mean, that goes for anything, but um, as of right now, not looking into anything more. That is the end of the episode. Catch me in another episode of Snowbound because I'm not done with you guys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.